Hi, dear students. Welcome back to Computer Science class. In our previous session, we have seen scope of variables. All variables may not be available everywhere in the program. It depends on its scope. Scope means simply what? The accessible area. Okay. Uh, area in which we can access the variables. Okay. There are two scopes. Global scope and local scope. Global scope means variable which are defined at the top of the module or directly in the interpreter or using global keyword and local means uh, which are declared inside a function or inside a loop okay the uh, what scope of uh, local is very limited only inside a function or a loop but global means uh, global variables are accessible from anywhere in the program okay in today's session our topic is using main as a function okay including main function is not mandatory in python why because it acts as a normal function okay there is no special privilege on main function in python programming then why are you using main function because actually the logic is we can put all the important components to a function that is what main is and we can give a logical reasoning for that okay it can give structure to a program it means uh, including main gives structure to a program in a logical way that puts all the important components to a function and that that is what main is okay and uh, the including main helps even non python programmers easy to read okay easy to understand the code okay that is why we including main function okay main is just like a normal member function but uh, we using main in python just to put all the important components to a function okay and that function is what main is okay yeah then uh, it follows uh, the normal way of defining functions okay we will define the main function first then we'll call it but the difference is you know how uh, we have two components for a user defined function function definition and function calling okay function definition for main is main follows the same definition of normal member function but here we have two calling fun two calling statements okay for main function one is normal calling another one is using a script using the script if name equal to main okay let's look one by one okay so first we are following this method calling main explicitly okay uh, either from the shell or from the script okay yeah so here we have a function hello okay it's a user defined function we know then uh, we have only one statement here in hello that is print okay print hello world hello world will be printed at, at the time of executing hello okay then we have a second function second member function main okay and in main we have this is the main function as a statement okay then you can see one calling hello you know hello is a statement and we have a name what a function with the name hello so we can consider this as a calling statement okay so at the time of executing this hello control passes to what hello function okay then hello world will be printed okay then it uh, comes back to what uh, to the main function or to the next okay so then you can see what calling statement main function and here main is a calling statement it calls the function what main okay so at the time uh, it what uh, moves to what definition part of main this is main function will be executed okay so uh, as an abstract how can you explain this okay first we are defining hello then main then main okay we are calling main so at the initially control passes to main function okay we are calling main function control passes to main and this is the main function will be executed first okay that will be the first statement in the output okay then it moves to what the next statement hello we know hello is a function calling statement so it calls a function hello hello world will be printed next to what this is the main function okay then uh, after executing this statement control comes back to what main function okay so the output will be there in the what output the first statement to be printed is this is the main function okay after that hello world will be printed okay so this is the first method of applying main function okay we know this is just like calling a normal member function this is just like calling hello here we have two member functions one is hello another one is main okay so main can be called just like calling hello 
okay here main is just like a normal member function uh, a member function like hello okay so this is the first method of what calling main function okay we have one more method here we have followed our explicit calling method okay and we have one more method to call main function that is following the syntax following the script if name equal to equal to main then we can call main function okay uh, this problem can be avoided using the second statement or the script okay here we are calling explicitly but it follows some somewhat a standard okay it gives us somewhat a standard just by applying if name equal to equal to main okay and we are using it within the module we are using the statement within the module okay uh, here we are what using the statement outside the module and here the what uh, we are adding the statement if name equal to equal to main inside the module okay that is the difference between the first and second okay let's see the second uh, we have a function our first user defined function area rectangle which takes two parameters length and breadth and breadth is having a default value one okay then area equal to length into breadth return area which returns area then def main that's our second function that's our main function okay uh, which what puts all the important components to a function that is what main is here we can see number of statements okay all are important print end of value for rectangle will be printed first then uh, okay uh, what length rect equal to int input length okay you know what it is uh, we are typecasting uh, what a string to integer in both the cases length uh, rect and breadth rect okay then meaning using th with these two statements we initializing length rect and breadth rect okay with integer values okay then area rect equal to area rectangle length rect comma breadth rect what is this this is our function calling statement okay this is our fu function calling statement we know area rectangle is a function name then it, it has two parameters length and breadth here also we are passing two parameters length rect and breadth rect which are already initialized with these two statements okay and we are assigning the result of the function calling to area rect to another variable okay we have number of ways you can directly include area rectangle length rect comma breadth rect in print okay or you can assign the result of the calling to another variable we have followed this method okay uh, assigning the result of the function calling to a variable area rect okay at the time of calling the function control passes to the definition part and here length gets the value of length rect and breadth gets the value of breadth rect if you're not passing uh, value for breadth rect it takes value one okay we know it takes the default value and it works on length length and breadth and which returns area and the value of area will be assigned to area rect okay then print area of rectangle area rect area rect the result will be printed okay as we assign the result of the function calling to area rect you can print area rect as our result okay then you can see our main statement main component if name equal to equal to main main this is a syntax okay this is a syntax of calling main function and let's see how it works okay every module in python is provided with a default variable or a built-in variable called the name okay which gives which contains name of the module okay every module in python has a built-in variable called name that contains name of the module name of the module meaning name is a variable that contain name of the variable name of the module okay name is a variable uh, that contain name of the module okay yeah then uh, it okay you can see what underscore before and after the keyword name okay before and after the keyword name you can see what underscores and if underscore name underscore equal to equal to in in quotes okay underscore main underscore column if is ending with column okay then you can see the calling main okay and how does it work as we said every module in python has a has an inbuilt variable name that contain name of the variable okay when the module itself is being run when when the module itself is being run then name is assigned with what main okay when the module itself is being run as a script then name is assigned with this what the, the string 
main okay simply we can say what now we are in main okay the current module we are running or is being run is main then it will be satisfied okay that name equal to equal to main at present we are working with main simply we can say what at present we are working with main okay so you know what name is name is a variable that contain name of the module okay here name contains what main why because we are running with main okay so it calls main function okay so at the time of calling this is a calling statement okay uh, when it satisfy the condition if name equal to equal to main it is already satisfied because at present we are working with main okay we are in main module okay then it calls main then it passes to what the definition part of main and the value for rectangle will be printed first then you can initialize length uh, rectangle uh, breadth rect with integer values then you can pass the values to the function and the result will be returned to area rect okay then we can print it out okay so these are the two methods of print what using main function okay let's have a revision what is main okay including main function is not mandatory in python then why we including this okay it acts just like a normal member function uh, but with uh, a difference in calling okay uh, a normal member function can be called just by giving the name and that's only method okay but here we have one more method applying this script okay yeah so uh, then why we using main function uh, it it puts all the what important components in the logical way that gives structure to a program okay that gives structure to a program meaning we are combining or we are putting all the important components okay to a single function that is what main is then uh, even not python programmers can easily read it okay then uh, in our first program we have seen we have called a function main explicitly just like calling any other member function okay so main will be executed first it passes to main this is uh, the main function will be uh, what printed then we call we know we can call a function from another function okay and so we are calling hello the control passes to hello then hello will be printed here you have to note this uh, we can call another member function from the definition part of a function we have done it okay hello hello is a function calling of this member function okay and here is our second method of calling that is uh, using the script if name equal to equal to main okay then we have uh, this example and how does it work ah uh, then okay we know we know what name is okay every module in python has a default or a, has an inbuilt variable called name that contain name of the module okay if the uh, what module itself is being run as a script then name is assigned with the value main or the string main okay or name is designated with what main okay or we can say simply what uh, at present we are in main function so the module or the name contains the name main the name contains the name main because the module is main the module name is main we are working with main module so name contains main okay at the time it calls a function and control passes to this part and again redirects to what area rectangle okay will be executed finally we get the result area rectangle okay so this is how we can make use of what main function in two ways okay let's see another topic flow of execution of program containing function call we know how execution happens uh, execution begins at the first statement of the program right execution begins at the first statement of the program and uh, statements are executed one by one one at a time from the start to end of the program okay but normally we can say by default the order of execution is somewhat sequential but when there comes any jumping statement okay jumping statements like break continue or some some kind of if else or looping structures the order may be changing okay the uh, order of execution may change here in the case of function call we know definitely it changes okay uh, we have seen number of examples uh, let's have uh, one more example okay one more time we can explain this flow of execution of program containing function call in in function call here we know we have a program hello we have two functions hello and this is our previous program okay hello and main and uh, we are calling the function okay and you can see yeah uh, main execute main then it passes to main function this is the main function will be executed right then it comes to next statement in the body of main that is hello we know hello is the function call okay hello is a function call at the time control passes to what hello redirects to hello 
then hello world will be printed after that control returns to hello or to the next statement okay here we don't have any statement okay let's make it some more simple print high okay print high we including print high for example uh, when uh, the control is with main function okay main function at the time of coming to main function or after this or at the time of executing main function it doesn't pass the control to print high meaning it is not sequential at the time of executing main control passes to main function the definition mode of main function and the statement the body or the block will be executed one by one all the statements will be executed one by one and at the time uh, it met with what hello a function calling statement and which redirects to hello the definition mode of hello and hello world will be printed okay then it comes back to what main then only what print high will be executed okay then only high will be executed this is how what flow of execution of programming containing program containing function call is okay uh, what execution begins at the first statement okay and only one statement will be executed at a time uh, from uh, start to end okay but uh, we can say somewhat a kind of sequential execution in most of the time but when there comes any uh, what jumping statement jumping statements like uh, if then uh, what uh, break continue all that okay at the time control what the execution order may change okay here in the case of function call function also the order is changing okay we have seen in our example that is main after executing main or at the time uh, it, it's not coming to what print high only what main will be passes to main then we have hello hello passes to hello definition only after that high will be printed okay this is how program containing what function works the execution works so this is all for this the time being okay thank you thank you for watching have a nice time